The following is a segment from the television series In Search of the Divine, produced by the Sisters of St. Joseph of Crondelet, St. Paul Province. For more information, visit www.insearchofthedivine.org. Dave and his Samoyed dog, Sasha, and Becky and her Lhasa Apso dog, Zoe, visit the sick and dying in hospitals, clinics, care facilities, and homes. And their stories about the power of unconditional love are almost endless. Last week, I uh, visited a, a boy in the hospital that was having his appendix out, an uh, autistic uh, young man. And uh, his mother knew that he said a few words, but the hospital didn't know he talked at all. Went in, saw my dog, uh, looked at the dog, said dog, uh, came over and pet Sasha a couple times. And all of a sudden, in this beautiful, clear voice, started singing a kid's uh, song about a dog. And uh, everybody was uh, very taken back by that. Zoe and I visited um, a lady uh, that was in the orthopedic area. And we had just a wonderful visit with her. She was very excited about Zoe. And about a month and a half to two months later, we ended up coming back for another visit. Here she was in the bed. Um, they had just removed her life support that morning and I looked over at her and here this lady was laying on her side with a little stuffed dog right under her arm that was just like Zoe. She told everybody that came to visit her after that about this little dog that came to see her named Zoe. And so somebody went out and bought her a little dog and it looked just like Zoe. And she kept that little dog with her as she went through rehab and she died later that evening. We have worked with people that uh, were in uh, basically a coma. And, uh, you know, one boy I remember well that her, his parents claimed the first time he moved his hand was when he touched Sasha. The first time he reached out was to touch Sasha. The first time he rolled over was reaching out to touch Sasha. And, you know, that's given too much credit to the dog, but it's a great experience. I believe that God just surrounds us with just a love that puts some rest at these patients and gives some comfort to the staff that um, if we can give them a little ray of sunshine or just a smile. I'm not one that thinks about divine plans and, and I also slow to recognize them but as I sit back and reflect a week later after something happens yeah there's got to be a reason why all of a sudden I happen to show up one day that I had no reason to be there, or why this person let us go into the room when uh, uh, we didn't. Uh, we visited this patient today and everybody told me he can't move his hands. Today he pet my dog with his one hand. 